What's up, Internet? Welcome to Brain Noob's review of the Ostrich Pillow, a pillow designed to make sleeping in public a million times easier. Sleeping in public is actually one of the hardest things that I've ever done, one of the hardest things for me to do, and this pillow helps out tremendously. So immediately we'll jump to the unboxing. When you order the pillow, you will receive this, a box, and uh, mine actually got damaged in transit a little bit. It's okay, it happens. You'll open the box and you'll find your pillow. You'll have your ostrich pillow, and you'll also get this little bag. And this is just meant as a travel case for your pillow. It basically is made of the same material any reusable grocery bag would be that you'd get at Whole Foods or something. Alright, so the pillow itself does not feel anything like I expected it to feel like. I showed it to some friends, and they were kind of surprised how it felt too. Does that mean it doesn't feel like any pillow I've ever felt before? No. What I expected was more of a traditional padded pillow, and what it is, is like a travel pillow. Makes sense that you'd get at any store, and it's filled with those little beads all the way around. Anywhere you can see on this thing, it's just padded with those little beads from the neck all the way up the back, so it's very comfortable. When you're sleeping in public with this thing, there are basically two positions that you're going to be sleeping in. You got the leaning your head against something back here, and the back is very sufficiently padded, so you're actually the back of your head's not actually going to touch the wall. It's always going to be padded, and that's going to be better than using a traditional pillow because if you're using a traditional pillow, you're going to wake up, you're going to readjust it, and you're going to fall back asleep, maybe in not the most comfortable position. With this one, you can wake up, move your head anywhere you put it. You want to go forehead first. You got padding all the way around. The other position, well, actually that's a lie. Let me talk about this real quick. The neck. A lot of people, I've seen people sleep with just kind of like leaning their head back without actually, you know, touching a wall or leaning their head to the side. This doesn't offer any padding for that. You know, I mean, obviously there's going to be a little here, but you're still going to wake up with a crick in your neck, and that's not going to be any fun. Okay, so the other position that you're going to want to use is you got these uh, hand holes right here. You're going to put your hands in them. You're going to put your head down on the desk, and you're going to sleep like that. And these hand holes obviously are meant to not only for your hands, but expel heat. And that's actually a great thing because in this, it can get a little warm sometimes. If you're very sensitive to temperatures while sleeping, it might not be the best thing for you. And then lastly, you got the mouth hole right here. That's going to be beneficial for anything you're doing because you're going to want to breathe. The pros of it. Obviously, it makes sleeping in public a million times easier. If you have to do this on a frequent basis at all, I highly recommend getting it. It gives you that amniotic tranquility. It gives you a womb that you can kind of just you know, block out some noise, you know, block out light, and just go to sleep. The other pro, which I don't know if anybody's mentioned it yet, I haven't looked on any blogs or anything, but this is a fantastic product for autistic kids. I work with third, fourth, and fifth graders, and a lot of my students are autistic. When uh, they react strongly to any given stimuli, they like to, you know, recede into themselves, they like to hide in a cupboard, hide in a cabinet, and kind of just be by themselves. That doesn't work for me because I need to keep an eye on these kids a lot of the time. This ostrich pillow can give them their own space. They can stay at their desk. I can keep an eye on them and they don't have to be bothered by you know the external stimuli, the other students in the class. So if you have an autistic kid that you're sending to school, if you have an autistic child at home, I highly recommend looking into this product because it has worked wonders for me. The cons of it. Unfortunately, it is a $100 pillow, so it's going to set you back a bill right away. Uh, again, if you're sleeping in public on any frequent basis and you need that, that womb, that kind of you know area of yourself that you can go to sleep in, I highly recommend it. Spend the money. Don't think twice about it. If you are kind of you know infrequent about napping in public, if you travel sometimes and it would be nice, I don't know if it's worth the money. You're going to have to make that call on your own. Again, you're going to have, if you're claustrophobic, I forgot to mention that, if you're claustrophobic, this obviously isn't going to be for you. And 
the other con that I wanted to mention, which might not be a big deal to a lot of people, but I just want to bring it up, is that it is dry clean only. It would be a lot easier for me if there was like a removable liner, so when it got sweaty in here, because it can get kind of warm sometimes, if I could just rip that liner out, throw it in the washer, put it back in, call it good, that would be ideal. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to make a trip to the dry cleaners, and... You know, just keep that in mind when you're looking to buy it. There's not a removable liner in here or some kind of case for it. I think that would be something to look into towards the future. Uh, I believe I've covered everything I have to say about the ostrich pillow. If you have any questions at all, drop us a line. We'll uh, gladly give you an objective, fair answer. There'll be a link below to their website where you can buy it. There'll be a link on our website where you can buy it, brandnoob.com. And uh, don't forget to like us on all the social media. We got the Facebook, we got the Twitter, we got the YouTube where we're bringing you these videos. Um, until next time.